Mr. McKenna. What a shame. What a shame. Cover up. Mr. Cover up. Cover up. No, it's a cover up. I'm voting against. Mr. The Cooper. Cover -up. Cover -up. I'm voting against this cover up. Uh, Mr. Poliver. Against the cover up. And Ms. Ramsey. I'm strongly voting opposed, and I'm shocked at the behavior of it's my despicable. colleagues. It's disgusting. So, so. The Liberals have used every parliamentary tactic in the book to stop Jody Wilson-Raybould from finishing her testimony at the Justice and Human Rights Committee. You could hear the pleas and the disgust from the opposition members of the Justice Committee as partisan hack Liberal Anthony Housefather slit the throat of the final attempt to have Jody Wilson-Raybould respond to the spin and the rhetoric from top Liberal bureaucrats like Gerald Butts. It's clear that the Liberals are doing everything that they can to stop Canadians from hearing anything more about the SNC scandal that Justin Trudeau so desperately wants covered up before the election. At a distraction announcement in Calgary, Minister Champagne took questions from the media where I was able to ask him if he thinks Jody Wilson-Raybould should be allowed to return to committee to testify. Here's his response. Can you tell me, do you think that Jody Raybould Wilson should be allowed to go testify in committee again, given that others have been allowed to return? Well, I would say that uh, for now, I think we have been uh, able to listen to a, a number of witnesses. Uh, what I take away from these testimony is that uh, the Prime Minister and his words and action always stayed within the bound of what was legal, uh, that uh, every member of his staff understood there was a line not to be crossed. In the most recent testimony, what I take away is that the Prime Minister had the 9,000 jobs in mind, two-thirds of them are across Canada, one third in Quebec, uh, that he had done in mind, and that at the end, uh, what uh, Gerald Butts was looking for and other staffers was to get a second opinion uh, in an important national matter. So to me, that looks pretty reasonable. When you have 9,000 jobs at stake to ask for a second opinion, I think that's what Canadians across the country would expect from us. But we know that 9,000 jobs weren't at stake now. Those jobs wouldn't have just disappeared because SNC had some legal troubles. Well, that's your assessment. I can say I've been in business for 25 years, and uh, if you're about to lose a headquarter, there'll be consequences for folks across Canada. There's offices here in Alberta. Uh, the company, like others, have been operating in the uh, oil and gas sector. I've been a, and I've been working in the infrastructure sector across Canada. And every time you have a headquarter of a Canadian company, a flagship Canadian company, which could be under threat, I think every Canadian everywhere in Canada should be concerned. And I think as elected official, you can advocate for a point uh, within the realm of what's legal and ethical. And that's exactly uh, uh, what I do when I address. And in our parliamentary system, we decided to have the Attorney General as, as part of the same person as the Minister of Justice. So. Uh, we did that because we thought it was important for matters of national interest that the Attorney General could listen to other colleagues, but being sovereign and independent in the decision that the person is making. The mental gymnastics that these Liberals have to do to sound credible are Olympic worthy. Why is it so hard for Liberals to just let women speak? What is Justin Trudeau hiding? What are they covering up? Keep in mind, Wilson Raybould was not allowed to testify about anything following her cabinet resignation. There are perhaps weeks of scandalous activity, scandalous activity that could bring down this prime minister once and for all that we might never hear about because of what just happened at the Justice Committee today. It is a sad day indeed for democracy in Canada, but fret not, because unlike the mainstream media, the rebel is determined to hold this government's feet to the fire. You might have already seen the billboard truck that we have been running up and down Wellington Street in Ottawa, right outside of the prime minister's office. We think it is time to jail Trudeau. Lock him up, throw away the key. It should have been done a long time ago. If you agree that we should lock him up, go to jailtrudeau.com. That's the only place you can go if you want to sign the petition to throw the most unethical prime minister in our country's lifetime in jail. Again, it's jailtrudeau.com. Thanks for watching. As always, for the rebel.media, this is Key Investing. Unlike the mainstream media, the rebel refuses to stand by idly while Justin Trudeau covers up this scandalous activity. If you agree, please go to jailtrudeau.com where you can sign our petition and pitch in a few bucks to pay for our billboard truck that we've been running up and down the street right outside of his office.